finally, the moment that I have been waiting for uh, since day one, since the draft day, since I held up the jersey with the commissioner, I have finally made it as a starter at the number three position for the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, I would just like to apologize to Luke Mbamute. I did take his job, but the performance that I've been having lately just tells you a lot, and the coaches have definitely seen a lot in the way that I've been playing lately. So here is the billboard that's going to go up. It's Defend Your Home Court, and it looks pretty nice, and it features me, Monte Ellis, uh, Brandon Jennings, then you got Gooden, and also Ilya Sova. So... That is pretty much it. I have finally accomplished one of my goals. And next up, we will be playing against the New York Knicks. And uh, I had a phone call with Carmelo Anthony. And he told me, you know, before you do anything, before you head out to the stadium, make sure you go out and go to the local helicopter tour where you will pretty much see all the nice places in New York City. You know, places like the Statue of Liberty. So that's pretty much what I did. You know, I kind of needed a sort of a mini vacation. So as you can see, you got the golf course on the bottom. You got the basketball court, all those good stuff. And right there in front of me, as I'm approaching it, you got the Statue of Liberty. So it definitely felt good. You know, my body's all sore from all these games that I've been playing. It felt good, you know, driving in this helicopter. Although I wasn't driving, I was in a passenger seat. It felt good, you know, seeing the Statue of Liberty and other monumental stuff here in New York City. So without further ado, let's head back out to Madison Square Garden. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they come in off a good outing against Toronto. Well, it was a good win, but it has to be pointed out that they didn't get much resistance from the opposing defense. Yeah, to me it looked like they were um, bamboozled and confused. I mean, they didn't seem to be very well prepared for what got thrown at them. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Clutch in its small forward. Ellis is out there with Jenny. Then it's Julia Silva, and it's Gooden in its center. And for New York, Mello and Amari at the forward slots. Jeremy Lin is out there with J.R. Smith, and it's Chandler in at the center filling out the middle. Well, it's been such a long, tough stretch for Knicks fans, but last season was a good one. Getting to the playoffs and finding talent in Amari Stoudemire. A lot of low open looks for each other, but even when they weren't open, they still made some tough shots. So the New York Knicks have won the tip-off, and since I do have the updated rosters, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of Vinsanity, Jeremy Lin. I did say Vinsanity, but I meant Lin Sanity. So here's Jeremy Lin, takes it inside, and he passes it to Stoudemire, and they get things started. But this is when we got started as they were making an inbound, and Monte Ellis finds me here. Tyson Chandler makes a turnover, and then he couldn't get the stop right there as I get a layup and get things started. So already two points Take it inside one more time. Posting up Carmelo Anthony. No one is cutting in, but I do see Drew Gooden. So Drew Gooden, surprisingly, he doesn't get blocked there. He gives me an assist. And now uh, J.R. Smith and, uh, you know, the New York Knicks, they have a lot of firepower. So I am pretty nervous in this one. But I do notice Drew Gooden is cutting in. So as long as we make these kind of assists, we should be fine in this game. As Ilya Sova gives me another assist right there. So three Three quick assists and now it is time to do a little bit of scoring so I call for a pick Sanders is right there what am I gonna do they're playing good defense so I dish it out to Ilyasova and now I'm gonna be calling for the ball right back as shot clock is sticking out Ilyasova what are you doing he does a turnaround jumper it doesn't go down I'm right there for the offensive rebound and the layup so four points five rebounds three assists I'm playing really aggressive and I check in here in the second quarter take it inside miss it and I get the ball back so now I'm gonna be posting up Iman Shumper take it inside for the dunk on Amari Stoudemire but one problem that I've been having in this game is obviously my field goal percentage. I've been putting up a lot of crazy shots. So as you can see, shooting 33% so far. So I definitely need to be taking more shots. And right here, my guy is pumped up. He's trying to pump up the Milwaukee fans that are at the court right now. Because we are down early on, but I hit to the free throw line. Knock down two jump shots. And now we're only down by eight points. J.R. Smith puts up a shot right here. It doesn't go down. So there I am. I collect the rebound. And uh, I noticed that there's 14 seconds on the clock. So I decided to hold the ball. 
so that we get the last shot of the half. So I call for my screen. And now that there's four seconds remaining, finally it is time to do something. I notice my teammate cutting it inside. So to end the half, I pick up another assist right there. And now we begin the third quarter, still down by eight points. And here are the Knicks. J.R. Smith, four seconds remaining, three desperation shot. And that is pretty much the story of the game. We can't get a stop at all. So just a little update. On my stats, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. And here is Drew Gooding. Gives me the ball. I'm backing down J.R. Smith. Do a turnaround. Take it inside and dunk all over Tyson Chandler. So I'm trying to pump up my teammates here. And let's see if they're going to have an answer on the defense. So put up a mid-range shot and cut it down to 8 points one more time. But here are the New York Knicks. They commit a turnover. So we're going to be cutting it to 6 points now. And that is pretty much the shortest deficit that we have to overcome. But obviously the New York Knicks come back and put up 2 points. So it's an 8 point game. I notice Mbamute cutting in. He gives me an assist right there. We cut it to 6. But again the New York Knicks just have an answer to everything that we've been doing. It is starting to get a little frustrating. And here's Brandon Jennings. I'm calling for the ball. He gives it to Ilya Sova. Shot clock is ticking down. Ilya Sova's ignoring me. Four seconds. He finally gives it to me. I give it right back to him. And there goes another assist. So it's a 10 point game here. One minute remaining in the third quarter. And I don't even know what's going on. I sort of want to do some scoring. But I notice my teammates are, you know, doing some unusual things. Which is cutting in, you know. Usually your teammates never cut to the basket. So that is why you see me picking up a lot of assists in this game. So here's Monte Ellis. Finally, he goes to the line. He converts the layup. And he converts the free throw as well. So we cut it to four points. But here is J.R. Smith. Gets a layup to go down. Gives New York Knicks a five-point lead. But I come right back. Give it to Ilya Sova. So we cut it back to four. And all we have to do here is play carefully and take advantage of all of our offensive possessions. But as you can see, Sanders forces up a shot. Monte recovers. Gives it to Ilya Sova. And Ilya Sova forces a shot as well. But here I am with the steal. I give it to Sanders. And then Sanders dishes out to Jennings for the three-pointer. So it's a one-point game. But you know Carmelo Anthony has to come right back and drain that mid-range shot so now we are back to three points but with two minutes it is still doable so I see Brandon Jennings cutting in I force a turnover right there you know I kind of regret it so there's Carmelo Anthony he gets the dunk right there so we're back to five points now I'm posting them up turn around but nowhere to go so I give it to Sanders and I am calling for the ball back but he is ignoring me four seconds remaining he finally gives it to me two seconds mid-range shot is good so we're back to three points here is Carmelo Anthony Anthony gives it out to Lynn Lynn right back to Anthony and then Lynn Anthony receives a screen from Stoudemire he puts up the three-pointer it doesn't go down but then Jeremy Lynn is right there to collect the rebound so what will the New York Knicks do here Jeremy Lin finds Carmelo and Carmelo's layup doesn't go down but he gets the ball back and he is headed to the free throw line to attempt two free throws first one goes down so now it is a four point game and here is the next free throw to make it a five point game Carmelo converts it so now this is pretty much one of our last opportunities and you have Drew Gooden attempting a three-pointer I don't know why he decided to do that but that pretty much ended it for us as we get another nail biter here and we come up short against the New York Knicks just a devastating game 2k sports we'll see it reinforces to me that the hard work I'm putting in every day is beginning to pay off to get recognized for that level of work is just a reminder of what I'm trying to do in this league I want rings not individual awards but I'll take whatever I can get along. The so next up on our schedule, we have the Boston Celtics. And you guys saw last game, they pretty much dominated us. But this time, it is going to be in our stadium. So uh, things should definitely be a little easier since we have 
the home crowd right behind us for the support. So without further ado, let's get this game started. So you have Paul Pierce driving the basket and then he finds Ray Allen who has trouble, you know, handling the ball. He could have gotten a good shot up, but he misses the shot right there. So I collect my first rebound of the game and I'm trying to see, you know, who's going to ask for the ball. But I noticed Drew Gooding cutting in. So he roll again, you know, back to back games, you know, Pretty much, you know, giving me most of my assists, you know, crediting me with a lot of the assists. So, I get one assist and then one jump shot to go down right there. And then now, Michael Petrus all over me. Shot clock is at 10 seconds. So, I do a turnaround and I see Jermaine O'Neal right in front of me. So, he gets the poster right there. And we're going to be shipping this poster to Hallmark, to, you know, JCPenney, to Walmart, I guess. And then, um, so Coach did take me out of the game. And uh, here we are in the fourth quarter. As you can see, the Boston Celtics, I don't know how we only scored one point in the fourth quarter. But right when I substituted out, the Boston Celtics went on a 20-2 run. I don't know how that happened. But it just gets ridiculous in this game. A lot of stuff has been going on with my teammates. Just no, t you know, no defense at all. And every basket... Uh, that the opposing team has been putting up has been going in you know they haven't missed at all and uh, right now I'm gonna be honest my teammates defense has been getting really frustrated so all I have to do here is you know just play the game keep on playing and uh we're gonna try to make a comeback here so Gooding gives me the ball I put up a layup right there but I am headed to the free throw line for an and one so Nothing is done yet. We still have an opportunity here. 133 remaining and we are only down by 8 points. So the Boston Celtics commit a turnover here. And here's Brandon Jennings. Gives me the ball and I am fouled one more time. So back to back 3 point possessions. As you can see I get the dunk right there. And now I am headed to the free throw line to make this a 5 point ball game. So here comes the free throw. How is this going to be? So I put it up, perfect release, and it is a five-point game. So the Boston Celtics made a shot on the other end. So it is a seven-point game. Here's Brandon Jennings, double-teamed. I'm asking for the ball. He gives it to Drew Gooden. Drew Gooden, give me the ball, but Drew Gooden just looks at me, and then he puts up a shot. So the Boston Celtics get the ball back here. What will Ray John Rondo, Rondo do here? And this could pretty much end the game. So... You know, everyone forgot about Ray Allen in his possession. Ray Allen, who I'm supposed to be guarding, finds his way into the corner, puts up the three-pointer, and that is pretty much the icing on the cake. So back-to-back -back days, we've had no rest, and we've been picking up back-to-back -back losses. So my teammates have definitely frustrated me. Just no defense at all as we pick up another loss. So we are definitely going to fall in the Eastern Conference. Just another devastating loss here. Sad night for the team, but great game for you. So let's talk about your shooting. Have you been working on your jumper or what? Nah, I didn't take it to another level. That's my normal level. I just happened to be the only one who could hit a shot out there tonight, and that's why we lost. I have faith in my teammates, though. One bad night's not the end of the world. They'll bounce back. They better bounce back, man, because losing games ain't an option for me. 